Hey, Divine Ones. It's Latoya O'Kill. Y'all come in. Come in. Y'all come in. Come in. Come in. All my Divine Ones. Yes. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. It's Auntie Toya. <laughs> <laughs> y'all come on in come on in i got a message i got a message for y'all y'all come on in y'all i'm just gonna give everybody time to see that we live to see that we live because i got a very very important message for y'all today very important message for y'all today baby we're gonna be we'll be talking about some of these spirits be talking about some of these spirits, baby. So, yes, y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Now, let me say this before I get into the word, because I'm just telling y'all, y'all know when I get into the word and I get to bringing it, I ain't, you know, I'm not reading comments. So, you know, just looking at the comments because I'm trying to stay on task with what God told me to do and what God told me to speak. So y'all be respectful, okay? Be respect, respect the anointing, respect the because I'm telling y'all the devil so bold with his ugly self. He so bold, he'll come in on the word, baby. He don't care. He'll come in with the, when the word going forth, folks being delivered, folks being broke free, strongholds being broken, and he'll come in with his ugly self trying to sow discord and trying to stir up some confusion. So if he do, cause he might come in, I'm talking about the devil, y'all. If he do, cause he might come in after I done gave this this, this disclaimer and he hit it part. So if he do come in and y'all see somebody down there in the comments saying some foolishness, ignore them, okay? Don't get the devil no shine. Don't give him no glow, baby. Don't give him no juice. Let him dry out. Let him die of thirst. Because he thirsty and he wants y'all attention. He wants y'all focus. He wants y'all energy. He don't want your energy directed towards this word. Because he know when you get this word, baby, you're going to mount up with wings like an eagle. You're going to run and not be weary. You're going to walk and not faint, baby. You're going you gonna to come up with a whole nother strength. And see, the devil don't want that. So he come on stuff like this to try to get y'all's attention. So if y'all see something in the comments, don't even pay that mess no mind. Just focus on the word. Okay? So listen, y'all, this, this is what I want to talk to y'all about today. So y'all know how I talk about chosen ones all the time. I talk about God. You are God's chosen one. You are God's anointed one. You are a divine one. You came from God. Up. You are of God. You were made in the image and the likeness of God. I talk about that all the time. And I want y'all to understand that the devil does not like that. He don't like the fact that you coming into your divine consciousness. He don't like the fact that you waking up to your power, that you waking up to what God has placed on the inside of you. He can't stand that, baby. So what you got to understand is as you on your way to the promised land, because that's where you're going, baby. You on the way to the promised land. You, you God's anointed one. You God's chosen one. And you on the way to the promised land. What is the promised land? The promised land is everything that you've been praying for. It's everything that you've been waiting on, baby. It's, I'm telling you, God say, but it's a mindset. He said, you got you to gotta come into the promised land in your mind first. He said, you got to come, in, come into it in your mind first. What that mean? You got to start thinking and talking and walking and acting like you already got what you prayed for and then soon it gonna be in your hand so god said you own the way to the promised land you own the way to lay hands on your stuff what i told y'all this your face to face season you coming into a season where you about to be face to face with everything you've been praying for you about to be face to face with everything that you've been waiting waiting for waiting so patiently you about to be face to face with it. So God said, what I need you to understand, which is what he want me to come on this video and tell, talk to y'all about today. He said, what I want you to understand is, it's some spirits that you're going to have to watch out for. Do you understand me? While you on the way to the promised land, while the Lord is leading you through the wilderness, because he didn't just pick you up out of Egypt and sit you into the land flowing with milk and honey. Because God said, some things that I got to work on with your mindset first. It's some things I got to deal with in here first. So God say, the enemy knows that I got you in your preparation season. Come on now. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, this is my preparation season. God is preparing you for everything that you prayed for. I feel the power of God. God is preparing you, baby. You in your preparation season. A lot of you, you being hid. 
You you ready for your time. You ready for your moment. You like, when is it going to be my moment? When is it going to be my time? But I can't let y'all know today, baby. If you being held back, you being held back for purpose. Come on now. If you being held back, you being held back because when the Lord release you, baby, you going to shoot out of a cannon. When the Lord release you, baby, you going to catapult. He going to catapult you into your destiny and you going to blow right past these folks. So if you're being held up, understand this your preparation season. God is perfecting some things on the inside of you. It's some things that got to be taken care of within you before you get to the big stage. It's some things that got to be perfected in you before the Lord puts you up there on that platform. Because God told me, he said, when they say, hey, we need you out front. God said, that ain't preparation time. <laughs> That ain't for, you ain't got time to prepare it in, baby, because it's lights, camera, action. They need you out front. They need you. It's folks out here waiting on you. It's folks out here that come to see you. It's folks, God said, then it's going to be showtime. So he said, stop talking about where my stuff at. I'm ready for my stuff. He said, be quiet and just get ready. Prepare for it because it's coming, baby. Okay. And these and the evil spirits, they know that. They know it's coming. So that's why God told me. He said, come on here. And tell them about these spirits that they need to watch out for. They need to watch out for these spirits. And God actually gave me this message. Spoke it from somebody else. He spoke this message from somebody else. And, and put it in my spirit to do this type of video. So I'm just being obedient. And doing what the Lord you know, has instructed me to do. So God said these are some spirits. These are some spirits that y'all need to watch out for. Okay. Now the first spirit. That spirit of jealousy, baby. Do you understand me? Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Says spirit of jealousy. That spirit of jealousy. Y'all, listen. God said y'all coming hand to hand. Y'all, y'all coming face to face. Y'all doing hand to hand combat with this spirit of jealousy, baby. There's some warfare that been taking place up in here. God said it's some folks, and let me tell y'all. He said it ain't just the spirit of jealousy from out there. Come on now, y'all got to receive this today. He said it ain't just jealousy out there he says some of this stuff is inside of you okay okay y'all know what they say be careful when you point that finger baby because how many you got you got three pointing right back at you be careful when you point that finger so when i speak these spirits i don't want y'all to just look on the outside and and think of it as some something from the outside is attacking you because some of this stuff is internal a lot of your battle is internal a lot of it ain't always oh they jealous of me they jealous they hate on me they hate. no a lot of times you got to go within and you got to check yourself do you understand me this go for me this go for everybody because i don't care how how well you think you doing your thing baby it's always somebody out there that's doing it better than you okay it's always somebody out there that's looking better better than you they sounding better than you and god said you got to stay in your own lane and don't worry about them folks okay okay i don't care who you is baby it's always somebody that that's a couple notches ahead of you they are a couple levels ahead of you so god said you got to learn how to be content you got to learn how like the apostle paul said no matter what state you in learn to be content learn to be okay and the first two spirits that I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give y'all three today. Three spirits to watch out for. The first two spirits that I'm going to give y'all, they, they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. But first, we're going to hit on this spirit of jealousy. What is jealousy? Bitterness. Mm-hmm. Bitterness. God said this bitterness is coming at y'all from other people. And then he said, for some of you, you still holding on to that bitterness on the inside of you. Uh-huh. And he said, you bitter over other people's happiness. Or either they bitter over your happiness. Come on now. They they bitter over the move of God in your life. They they angry. They upset because of what God is doing in your life. Because of what God doing in your marriage. Because of what God doing in your relationship. Because of what God doing with your children. With your finances. Not realizing that the same God that bless you can bless them. Come on somebody. Somebody say he the same God, baby. <laughs> he the same God. You ain't got to be mad at me about what he doing for me. All you got tell some of y'all need to tell these folks instead of you getting mad at me about what God doing for me. You need to be trying to figure out what I did. You need to be trying to figure out what well, what was it that you did? What what did you have to? What kind of internal work did you have to do to get that blessing? What kind of books did you have to read? What kind of courses did you have to take? Because if you got some sense, you know that you ain't gonna get something for nothing. So if the, if God is blessing these folks, if come on now, if God is elevating these folks, you better try to find out what they did to get it. 
so you can get yours instead of being upset, instead of letting the spirit of jealousy sneak in and, and cause you to miss out on your blessing. I'm telling y'all, God said these spirits are important for y'all to watch out for because it has the potential. It has the power to keep you out of your promised land. It has the potential. It has the power to block everything. This move of God that God trying to send into your life. These spirits will block it. Daniel 6. Daniel 6. I'm going to tell y'all about the spirit of jealousy, just how powerful it is. Do you understand me? But it ain't got no power over the spirit of God. But God said you better watch out for it, baby, because it'll trip you up. Your anointing, when the Lord has blessed you, when the Lord has put his all on you, baby, when God has stamped you, when God has gave you the green light, and, and tell these folks, baby, take it up with God. These folks mad because God has stamped you. They mad because God has gave you the green light. They mad because you just got this natural talent. You ain't asked for it. You were just born with it. And folks will hate you, baby, just because you got a natural talent to do something. Just because you being obedient and just because you carrying a spirit of excellence, these folks going to hate you, baby. Who am I talking to in this thing today, baby? They going to hate you just like they did with Daniel, baby. The Bible say in Daniel 6, Daniel 6 and 3, it say, then this Daniel was preferred. Ooh. Somebody say, I have been preferred. God prefers me. Ooh, they going to hate you, baby. Let me tell you something. Spirit of jealousy in these folk going to hate you because the Lord has preferred you. Because the Lord has chosen you. Because the Lord say, that's my chosen one. Y'all hang on one second. Let me give me some water because I don't, I don't want to burn out too quick. So my throat kind of dry. So y'all hang on. Let me grab me some water. Y'all hang on now. Ooh, y'all hang on. I'm coming. I had to get my water, baby. Cause the Holy Spirit finna go in. Finna go in, baby. Y'all better tell them we live. <laughs> Y'all better tell them, baby. Holy Spirit going in. Spirit of jealousy. Mm-hmm. Spirit of jealousy. These folks, they cannot stand you. Why? Because the Lord preferred you. And they can't understand why, why he chose her over me. Why he chose, why God chose him over me. Why? Because God looks at the heart, baby. The Bible say man looks at the outer appearance, but God judge you by that heart, baby. I ain't talk about this, this organ that's thumping in your chest. The heart, when the Bible say your heart is talking about your mind, it's talking about your subconscious mind. Do you understand me? You're the only creature as a human being, as a child of God, you're the only creature that has that, that subconscious mind. That's your heart. That's why you don't believe what folks show you. Because, see, I could get on him and I could show y'all something. I could dress up. I could look like this. I could look like that. But, see, God don't look at that. Y'all better catch this today, baby. God ain't stunned by how pretty you is. God ain't stunned by how well you can slay. God ain't stunned by how handsome you is. He ain't stunned by how much swag you got and how all the ladies love you. God ain't stunned by that, baby. God looking at that subconscious mind. God looking at what's at your core, what's dying down at the root, what's dying down at the bottom. That's what God looking at. And God said, you can fool everybody else. Come on now. He said, you can, you can fake it till you make it with everybody else, baby. But God said, you can't fool me because I made you and I know what's in you. Spirit of jealousy. The Bible say, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Woo! And then in the fourth verse, it say, then the presidents and the princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could not, but, th but they could find none occasion nor fault for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. That's Daniel six, three and four. And I want to read that to y'all to let y'all know, let y'all understand. You can literally have nothing wrong with you. Do you understand me? 
It ain't got to be nothing wrong with you. Y'all ever felt like, I don't understand why they do me like this, Toya. I don't understand why they treat me like this. I done gave these folks the shirt off my back. I have been nothing but good to this man or nothing but good to this woman. And they still treat me like dirt. They still do this or do that. They still go behind my bike. They still lie. They still being deceiving and everything else. Doing underhanded stuff. You know what it is, baby. It's the anointing of God that's on your life. It's the spirit of excellence that you walk in. And God said these people are operating with a spirit of jealousy. So he said you got to watch out for them, baby. Because when the Lord has stamped you, when the Lord has anointed you, it's some spirits that ain't going to like it. They just ain't going to like it. I don't care how nice you try to be to them. I don't care if you come in there and buy them breakfast every day. I don't care if you come in there and buy them lunch every day. I don't care if you give them the key to your car just because of who God says you are just because of the anointing that's on your life they still gonna be hollering well I don't know what it is but I just don't like her I just don't like her I just don't like him he uh uh he just I just don't like him they can't tell you what it is you know why they can't tell you what it is baby because it's it's the unseen it's the unseen, baby. They can't stand what's unseen in you. They can't stand the anointing of God that's on you. And they're going to do you. They're going to try to do you just like they did with Daniel. They're going to conspire. They're going to link up with other people. Spirit of jealousy. Now, that's what we're talking about. They're going to link up with other people. Uh-huh. They're going to link up with other people that don't like you. They're going to link up with other people that ain't got nothing else better to do than to talk about you. Who am I talking to, baby? They're going to link up with people that got your notifications on C first. They're going to link up with people that live their life vicariously through your stories because they ain't got no life so they looking at what you doing because they know you can't see their name all you see is the number but you know they looking spirit of jealousy God said, you better watch out for it, baby. You better watch out for it. Because like I'm telling y'all, these spirits, they got a little power, but they ain't got all power, baby. Because all power is in the hands of our Heavenly Father. And God said, as long as you walking with me, he said, you're going to overcome these spirits, baby. But just because Daniel was preferred and by God, just because Daniel was chosen by God. Let me tell you something. The chosen one going to always come up against resistance. Do you understand me? Anytime the chosen one step up in that thing, baby, anytime a, a divine one fall off in there, you might as well look for some resistance because the devil can't stand your presence, baby. He can't stand the fact that you just showed up. Y'all ever went somewhere and you could just feel eyes on you? Come on now. Who am I talking to, baby? Then you look up and show up the foe looking right at you. They looking right at you, baby. They don't know what it is. It's just your energy. It's just your presence. It's the spirit. It's the anointing that you walk in. It's, it's, it's the consciousness that you walk in. It hold weight, baby. It hold weight. Do you understand me? And God said the devil can't stand that. He can't stand that, baby. And he going to try everything he can to trip you up and get in these, put this spirit of jealousy in these folks. And I'm telling y'all, if you ain't been delivered from it, you're going to have to get delivered from that today because that spirit of jealousy will creep up on anybody. Do y'all understand me? It'll try to come for me until I let it know, oh, no, devil, you ain't no room for you, him. Ain't no room for you and him. Uh-uh, my body is the temple in which the spirit of the Lord dwells, baby. We ain't got no room for no spirit of jealousy over him, so you can go on about your business. Tony Gaskins, go on about your business. Okay, okay. God said you better let these spirit, let these, let this spirit of jealousy know, baby. Go on about your business. Go on about your business. See, because if you give it some room to come in, it's going to come in and they're going to set up shopping you. That's what done happened with these folks. That's why you shouldn't hate them now. Don't hate them. Don't dislike them. Pray for them. And pray that the Lord will, will deliver them. And pray that they come out of that spirit. Because see, what it what happened was it started as a thought in their mind and they let it linger around a little bit too long. See, that's why when you look at somebody and you start envying people because of what they have or because of their relationships or because of their marriage or because they their business is prospering and yours ain't, you got to immediately counter that spirit and start praying for that person to succeed. Start praying that God will bless them even more. Start praying that the Lord will elevate them even more. And I'm going to tell you all the way God told me, he said, what you what you need to do. This is what he told me anytime I struggled with the spirit of jealousy. He would tell me to sow into that person. 
Yeah, cause you and you be honest with yourself. You ain't gonna say it to nobody else, but you just be honest with yourself. You can feel when that spirit of jealousy is stirring up in you. You can feel when when you looking at somebody and you looking at what they doing and what they got, and it's like, well, Lord, you know, I'm over here doing this and doing that. Why? And they doing this and doing that. You know, they ain't living right. So why is like they got more than me or they doing better than me? See, that's that spirit of jealousy starting to stir up in you, baby. And see, God say, this is what he told me to do. He said, sow into what they doing. He said, send them a cash out. He said, get their cash out and sow it into them. He said, get they, uh, get their information, get their PayPal. And God said, you ain't got to tell nobody you did it. He said, cause you're not doing it for nobody. You're not doing it for them. He said, you're doing it unto me. He said, you, cause let me tell y'all, it's hard to sow into somebody. It's hard to take something in your possession and give it to somebody that you that you uh feel negatively towards that person or you feel jealousy that spirit of jealousy ain't gonna be able to continue in the midst of that because when you give the bible say it shall be given unto you but see we can easily give to the people that we love and give to the people that are pouring into us and give to the people that are always coming with a word for us and it but can you give to your enemies Come on now. Can you get that's how you're gonna break that spirit of jealousy? I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. And God said, don't just be sending no little penny in and stuff, neither. Don't be sending no change. He said, I need you to make a sacrifice. I need you to give something that if somebody find out you did that, they say, Man, you crazy. Woman, you crazy. You sent that woman that much money. You you gave that man that much money. Yes. Because I didn't do it for them. I gave it, I, I gave it as a sacrifice to God. I gave it as a seed to God. And when you do that, you showing God just how bad you want, you want out of that spirit of jealousy, just how bad you want to be broken free from that spirit of jealousy. And God will break you free, baby. He'll break you free. But I'm telling y'all, as I give y'all these spirits, you got to be conscious of the internal enemy and the external enemy. Do not take this one side and say, oh, Toya told us about three spirits that we need to watch out for today. So I need to watch out for these spirits. And you thinking they're coming from the outside because the devil will fool you sometime, baby. It might not be the outside. It might be in you. So examine this on both sides, internal and external. Because Satan can't cast out Satan. Do you understand me? Until you get that enemy outside of you, that's when the real fight begins. That's when the real battle starts. How are you going to fight something that's inside of you? You're going to be warring with your own self. You're going to be walking around here like a crazy person. So you got to get him out first. You got to get him out of your house. Get him in front of you. Then you got an opponent. Now you got a real opponent that you can fight with. But as long as he on the inside of you, baby, you're going to be in a mess. You're going to be in a mess. You're going to be warring within yourself. And, and, and you ain't going to have no peace. You're going to be to and fro. You're going to be back and forth. You ain't going to be able to sleep. Some of y'all like that now. I'm telling you what it is. You're going to be tossing and turning. You got an internal enemy. You, you Let me tell you something. You cannot be comfortable. There is no comfort. Do you understand me? There is no comfort. Because these spirits, these, these spirits I'm telling y'all about, they don't, they don't know comfort. They don't know rest. They crafty, they moving, they, they in this, they in that. And, and as long as they in you, you're going to feel like that. You're going to feel like that. You're going to feel like you can't get no rest. You're going to feel like if it ain't one thing, it's another. Come on now. You're going to feel like it's, it's this, it's that. Like, oh my goodness, every time I turn around, it's something else. I can't I can't even sit down and, and watch a movie. Or I can't even, you know, it, it, my phone's steady ringing. It's this, it's that. Like, I, I can't sleep throughout the night. I'm steady getting up. I'm steady pacing. God said that's an internal enemy. That's an internal enemy, baby. And, and, and deliverance has hit y'all house today, baby. Deli you see, y'all put that in the comments. Say, deliverance has hit my house. If you touch and agree with me today, God said you're going to get your deliverance. Because the word, let me tell y'all something. I ain't got to physically lay my hands on you for you to be delivered. When the word come forth, everything you need, I feel the power of God. Everything you need is in the word, baby. The word is so powerful. It can break you free. I don't, I'm sitting right here in Dothan, Alabama, baby. And you can be over there in Kenya and you hear this word and it's going to break you free. That's just how effective. That's just how powerful the spirit of God is. So even though I'm telling y'all about these spirits that you got to watch out for, understand that they ain't got nothing over the spirit of God. Nothing. And God said this spirit of jealousy, every one of these spirits that I'm going to give y'all today, they can be male or female. Male or female. I ain't just, And y'all know my message. I'm, I'm hitting both sides. I ain't just coming at the women. I ain't just coming at the men. I'm coming at both sides. This is male and female. Male and female. The next spirit. 
that I that I was telling y'all about. Um, the you know I told you the first two go hand in hand. The next spirit is the spirit of greed. Spirit of greed. Mm hmm. God said you got to watch out for this one. You got to watch out for this one. He said it's jealousy and it's greed. He said they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. The spirit of greed. Listen to what it is. Self-centered. Self-centered. Uh-huh. The universe revolve around you. Y'all know folks like this. The world revolve around you. Everything is about you. Everything is about the way you feel. It's just self-centered. Okay. Hungry. Listen, listen, listen what it is. Hungry for money. Hungry for power. Hungry for wealth. Ain't nothing never enough. And, I, and listen, listen. I ain't just talking about them folks over there. Because y'all know how sometimes when the word be going forth, we be thinking, oh, that's for them folks over there. Okay. That, that's not for me. That's that's for them folks over there. No, baby. God said, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. He told me the same thing. He said, I'm talking to you. Because God said it ain't necessarily got to be money. He said, some of y'all hungry for likes. Okay. Okay. You didn't know that, baby. Spirit of greed. Hungry for likes. Listen. The spirit of greed is an intense and selfish desire for anything. For anything. We're talking about anything. This ain't just about money. This ain't just about power. This ain't just about wealth. We're talking about anything. It is an intense and selfish desire for anything. That is the spirit of greed. And God said, while you on your way to your blessing, while you on your way to the promised land, you better watch out for this spirit. Every time God bless you, God said, you can't be content with the level that I have put you on because you steady asking for more. You steady want some more. He said, you prayed to make $10,000 a month in your business. And when you started making $10,000, now you're on to, oh Lord, I need to make $50,000. I need to make $50,000 a month. Now you're looking over there at Susan and them. You're looking over there at Bill and them. And you're talking about, man, they making, they making $50,000 a month. They doing this. They doing that. And you ain't even realize that what you was praying for is now in your hand. Ain't nothing never enough. Ain't nothing never enough. Oh, let, let, y'all know I'm, I told y'all this for men and women now. This for men and women. Okay, women, come on now. Okay, you pray for a man that do this, that do that. You got one that's doing this, that's doing that. And now you to find something else to complain about. Come on now. Now you done find something else to talk about. Now you, well, you know, it'll be nice if he, he did this or he did that. And, and, and them bike, them bike handed conversations on the bike end. Well, you know, I just, if he just did this or he did that, you know what I'm saying? We, we'll be all right. Or is it, ain't nothing never enough. Spirit agreed. And, and God said a man can literally be breaking his bike to make you happy and it still ain't enough. That's a spirit of greed. Do you understand me? Can't be content, self-centered. Thinking, thinking that the relationship is all about you and your happiness. Thinking that the marriage is all about you and your happiness. Thinking about, thinking the friendship, this is male and female. Thinking the friendship is all about them being there for you. Them talking to you on the phone and, and, and giving two and three hours of their time for you. Baby, Holy Spirit ain't playing with this thing. Y'all better eat this today now because it's good. It's good. It going to fill you up. It going get, to get you where you need to be. God said these one-sided friendships, these one-sided relationships, these one-sided marriages, these one-sided business partnerships. God said you better watch out for the spirit of greed because that's what done took over some of these folks. They self-centered. They have an intense, selfish desire for their own gain. They in it for, to win it for themselves. They don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about your children. They don't care nothing about your marriage. They don't care nothing about as long as they good. Long as them and theirs are eating, they don't care if you and yours starve. Watch out for that spirit of greed. Watch, know it when it come up on you and know it when it's trying to take over you internally. Remember what I just said. This is internally and externally. Watch out for the spirit of greed. God says some of you, this is what he said, hungry for money. The money ain't never enough. It ain't never enough. Like I said, now, this, this ain't just about money now. He said, you're hungry for views. Okay. 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 
post post a picture, post a post, make a post, make a story. You checking numbers. You looking at the numbers. You you and 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 you probably hit a new number that you ain't never hit before. But the next day you trying to get over that. You like oh oh such and such you know, got they got three thousand likes. Let me see. I'm, let me see what I can post. Let me see what kind of angle. See what kind of angle I can get. Let me see what I can show up here. I bet you I can get me get me by get me by thirty five hundred likes. They got three thousand. And God said you ne you're never happy. You're never satisfied. You're never content. You don't even realize that it, that literally things that I used to cry all night for, things that I used to pray to God for, I am holding them in my hand right now. Can I just be grateful for what I have? Can I stop looking at my navel? Can I stop looking at my competition? Can I stop looking at my sister or my brother in Christ saying, if I just had what they had, if I had the marriage that they had, oh, she got a good man. Her man do this. Her man do that. I ain't got no man. I got to do this. I got God say, can you just be grateful for what you have? For what you have, because he said every time you operate with that spirit of greed and you're never satisfied, you're never content, you're self-centered, you just want what you want for you and you don't care about anybody else. Come on now. He said every time you operate in that, you push your stuff off. See, it was coming to you. It was making its way to you. It was making its way to you. But he said every time you operate with that spirit, you push it off. You push it away. You just told God. I'm not ready. You ain't telling physically with your mouth, but with your actions. Because y'all know what they say, baby. Them actions, them actions gonna speak louder than them words. It gonna speak louder than the words. So God said, you just pushed it off with your actions. You just told me without telling me, Lord, I'm not ready. Don't, don't send her. Don't send him. Don't send the opportunity. Don't send the angel. Don't send the breakthrough. I'm not ready for it. That's how God read into that. See how, see how, the, see how these spirits will rob you. The Bible says that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's his agenda. That's his agenda. He come to steal everything. He come to strip everything from you. And he come in the form of these spirits. Do you understand me? Now, it's so many other ones, baby. But these just the three that I'm hitting on today. And God said that spirit of jealousy and that spirit of greed go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. God says, spirit of greed, when you operating with that, or y'all know somebody that's operating with that, he said, you're never satisfied. You're never satisfied. And if y'all have ever been in a relationship, or you ever been married, or you ever been friends, or you ever been connected to somebody like that, you know, baby, that that is a frustrating season to be in. That is a frustrating place to be in. And like, Lord Jesus, I don't care what I do. I can go get the moon and bring it back, and it still ain't enough. <laughs> it still ain't enough. That's the way Satan is, baby. Anytime you encounter something like that, you got to know. You got to know Satan. You got to know his, his agenda. You got to know his characteristics, and you got to know how he move. That's how he move. He make you feel like, like you need to be tap dancing. You know what I'm saying? He make you feel like you got to be walking on eggshells. He make you feel like you got to be, oh, let me do this. Oh, let me do that. Oh, let me do that. Okay, is that enough? You know, do you love me now? Uh, do you approve of me now? Is that good? Are we okay? You know, is everything all right? That's the way Satan is. You don't feel peace with him. You you feel uneasiness. It it, it be it just be like a like a like a feeling in the pity, and, and you want to avoid it. You don't even want to be around it. You'd rather go and be somewhere else. Uh-huh. Come on now. God said that's what a lot of these people, that's what a lot of these uh, people are operating in that spirit of greed. He said they never satisfied. They always want more. And he said it's an insatiable spirit. Come on now. It's an insatiable spirit. It's like trying to feed a, feed a child or feed an animal that ain't never full. They don't never get full. It, Cause it's like these spirits, they don't have no bottom in them. <laughs> they don't have no, these, these greedy spirits, they don't have a bottom. There is no bottom. You throw it, cause everything you throwing in now, it just, it, it just falling out, baby. It's just falling out. It ain't, it ain't no end to it. Like it ain't no bottom. Like it ain't nothing. When you throw in, when you giving all your attention, all of your affection, all of your love, you're just throwing it away. 
You just throwing it away. And this person will never be able to receive it with gratitude and reciprocate it back to you because they don't have a capacity to hold it. They don't have a bottom to hold it. They have an insatiable spirit. They have a gimme, 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 gimme spirit. I won't, I won't, I won't. It's me, it's me, it's me. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Listen, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, listen to people when they talk, y'all. If you constantly hear I, 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 if you constantly hear me, 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 if you constantly hear mine, 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 everything is always about them. God said that's a, that's a spirit of greed. Come on now. That's the spirit of greed. They ain't add no value. They come to take your value. They ain't got no value to give. They came to get yours. Spirit of greed. God said, watch out for it. Watch out for it. He said, they hungry for attention. They hungry for attention. They, a person with a spirit of greed, they will do whatever they need to do to get the eyes on them, to get the attention on them, to get to get the to get whatever it is that they seeking because see this is an intense and selfish desire. We're not supposed to have a desire like that for nothing except God. God is the only one that we should desire that much. Anything outside of God that you desire, you want it so bad that you will do anything to get it and, and you will you will kill, steal, and destroy. You will do whatever you need to do. God said that's the enemy. That is that is up, up and down, left and right, in and out. That ain't nobody but the devil. And that is an insatiable spirit that you cannot satisfy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how much it's like it's like somebody saying they thirst. I don't care how much water you give them. I don't care how much liquid you give them. I don't care how much you try to quench that thirst. It can never be quenched. And if y'all look at these spirits, not just the spirits that I'm talking about today. I got one more. I'm going to go over with y'all. But when y'all look at these spirits, you'll see that they have that in common. They have that in common. Like it's it's never it's never um like nothing is never enough. Like once you feed into it, like once you let these spirits in, they will get and get and get and they will grab and grab and grab until they literally like just and spiritually milk you dry to like when these spirits leave you, they want to leave you empty. They want to leave you stripped. They want to leave you with nothing. They want to rob you of your faith. They want to rob you of your anointing. They come in and they, they leech on to you like a parasite and they just suck and suck and suck until you have nothing left. They want to destroy your relationships. They want to destroy your partnerships. They want to destroy your body, your health, your happiness, your joy. I mean, they come to steal everything, baby. They come to steal everything and they don't have no mercy on you. They don't know mercy. That's why when they come in, you can't give them no space. You got to kick them out. The Bible said we got to cast down imaginations and every high thing that will exalt itself against the knowledge of God. What does that let you know? That lets you know that the spirit comes in as a baby. It comes in as a thought. It's a thought that comes into your mind and it's up to you to entertain that thought or not. But you got to stop it. As soon as it, as soon as it coming through, come in through that entry point, through your mind, you got to stop it. You got to stop it. But God said what a lot of people are doing when these spirits come in, he said, you playing around with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, yeah, you just have that little, oh, you know, it's so cute. Uh -uh. God said, what, why is you trying to pet a snake? Why are you all kiki key -key <laughs> with a snake? Okay. Okay. Cause a snake gonna do what's in his nature to do. He gonna bite you. He gonna bite you. You kick, kick, kick in his face. Kick, kick, kick in her face. All you want to. See, God said we gotta know how to remove ourselves. Remove yourself, not only from a physical situation, but remove yourself from a spiritual situation. Cast these thoughts out of your mind when they come into your mind. These thoughts that say, "Oh, she thinks she all that. Oh, he think he all that." Look at it. Them folks don't think they all that. If, if the thought coming through your mind, then that means you think they all that. You, that's what you're thinking. So God said, you got to be delivered from that. You got to cast that down. And I'm telling y'all what he told me. He said, so into what they doing. He said, so into what they got. Because it's hard to be jealous of somebody when you're praying for them and when you're sowing into their life. It's hard to be greedy. 
It's hard to operate from a spirit of greed when you give. See, the spirit of greed say, gimme, 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 gimme. Mine, mine, mine. I take it, I take it, I take it, I take it, I take it. This is all about me. But see, you counter that with prayer. You counter that by, by giving an encouraging word or by praying for that person and by sowing something into their life. Sowing something that you really wanted for yourself. Don't just give them something that you didn't want, but sow something that it kind of hurt you a little bit to let that go. <laughs> You got to feel it. You got to feel that little, mm, like, Ooh, Jesus, you want me to give them that? Yes, baby. You got to give them that. Give them that. Give them that bag. Uh-huh. Give them, give them that bag. Give them that Louis bag. Give them that Birkin bag. Come on now. Give them them slides. Get, get, get that best wig away. Give it away because it's going to break that spirit. It's going to break that spirit. I'm telling y'all. So those were the first two, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of greed. They go hand in hand. This is the last spirit I'm going to go over with y'all today. And it is the spirit of manipulation. The spirit of manipulation. Also known as spirit of Jezebel. Okay. The spirit of manipulation, baby. Yeah, somebody said not the weed. Yes, baby. The weed. <laughs> give them the weed, baby. And if you ain't got nothing physical to give them, give them send them a cash out. Y'all know the time we live in now. You can find out anybody cash out. Cash out just well. You can just go look it up and, and go send it to them. And don't even say nothing about it. But God saw you when you did it, baby. And God going to reward you for that. So the last spirit is the spirit of manipulation. And as I told y'all, with these spirits, this is male or female. I am not just talking about women. I am not just talking about men. This is male and female. The spirit of manipulation. This is a controlling spirit. Do you understand me? This is a controlling spirit. This is a spirit that seeks to control. This is a spirit that seeks to uh, move you, move you like a puppet. Like have you playing by their strings? Have you doing what they want you to do? Have you saying what they want you to say? Have you going where they want you to go? And then you know what it is because as soon as you don't do it, as soon as you buck on them, as soon as you be like, oh no, well, I ain't finna do this, I ain't finna do that. As soon as you step out on your individuality, God say this spirit, it hates individual in people that can be individualized, like people that walk in their individual power and know who they are are as one person you don't have to connect with somebody else you don't have to click with somebody else you don't have to be around a group of people but you can walk by yourself you can go sit down and have dinner by yourself you can go to the park by yourself you can go walk through the mall by yourself you are a whole individual out here the spirit of manipulation hates that it hates that it cannot stand it Y'all finding out today why a lot of these folks don't like y'all and you ain't you ain't never been able to figure out what's what is what it is what is it about you? I'm telling you what it is about you. It's the fact that you're an individual. It's the fact that you know who you are. It's the fact that you don't have to run in packs and cliques. And every time they see you, you by yourself and they need a clique. They need this person and that person. They need a friend. They need a buddy. They need somebody. They need a partner that they got to go work out with. But you so strong. You so bold. You such an individual. You go work out by yourself. You go eat by yourself. Okay. Spirit of manipulation can't stand that. Can't stand that because this spirit of manipulation, it seeks people that, that feel like they need somebody else to make them happy. It seeks out people that feel like they need validation from other people. It seeks out people that are, that are weak, that are not strong enough to stand on their own two feet and they need somebody else they can prop up on. Yeah, this Jezebel manipulative spirit, it love people like that. It can sniff you out. Do you understand me? If you don't know who you are, this is why I tell y'all your identity is so important in God. If you don't know who you is, baby, you are prey to these spirits. You are prey to these spirits. These spirits are controlling and they come in so sweet. They come in like the best friend you, you, you never had. They come in like the best girlfriend, the best boyfriend. They getting you this. They getting you that. They just love you so much. They telling you they love you the first week, the second week. They buttering you up. They just, oh, they just, oh, they just all over you. They want to spend every minute with you and you soaking it up. You love it. Why? Because 
You don't have that validation within yourself. You don't know who you are. When you don't know who you are, you're not content. You're not strong enough to be on your own. You feel like you need a friend. You feel like you need a man. You feel like you need a woman. But truth be told, you don't need nobody but yourself. You don't need nobody but the, but the God that's on the inside of you. All you need is God, baby. And, and when God get ready for you to have somebody, God going to send them folks. But I'm telling y'all, this spirit of manipulation, like I said, it can be male or female. Male or female is also a seductive spirit. It's a seductive spirit. Uh-huh. Yes. It, it'll, use, it'll use its looks to get what it want. Okay. It'll use its money to get what it want. Uh-huh. It'll use whatever it need to use to seduce you and to get what it want. And God said, by the time you realize you've been had, it's too late. It's too late. It already, it already got you in his, in his grasp. Like it and already sink its claws into you. We talk about this spirit of manipulation and I'm telling y'all, it will befriend you. It will befriend you. It'll, it'll, you'll think this is the best friendship that you have ever had you ain't never met no friend like this they they just always there they this they that but god said all the time they buttering you up because they finna get ready to switch up on you they finna get ready to flip the script and with everything that they done, that they done gave you you finna hear about that you finna hear about that do you understand me oh soon as you can't do something for them soon as you can't go somewhere for them soon as you say no soon as you say i ain't got it you finna find out what the real deal is you finna find out you were dealing with this spirit of manipulation this jezebel spirit the whole time because this spirit love to get its way and when it cannot get its way you got you know what on your hands you'll be like oh my goodness what going on what is going on? Yeah, you you seeing who they really is? They they them horns coming out, baby. You seeing who they really is? Tell y'all start telling some of these folks no. Start telling some of these folks I ain't got it. And I heard Dr. Lynn Richardson say this. She said no is a complete sentence. <laughs> you ain't gotta say no because, or you ain't gotta say no and then explain yourself. You ain't gotta say nothing. Had to give me some water, y'all. You ain't got to say nothing. It's no, and that's it. Tell them no, and you're going to find out what they're really working with. And God say, listen, he said this manipulative spirit, he said it has a lot of power. It has a lot of power. It's one of the higher ranking spirits. Uh-huh. That's why I want to tell y'all about this one last, because it's one of the higher ranking spirits, and it's got a lot of power in Satan's kingdom. It ain't got no power in God's kingdom now, but it got a lot of power in Satan's kingdom, and it's one of the it's one of the chief spirits. And this spirit right here, God said it will fool the very elect if it were possible. This spirit is wreaking havoc in the church. Do you understand me? This manipulative Jezebel spirit is wreaking havoc in relationships, in homes. It's destroying everything that it can destroy. And I'm going to tell y'all something else about this spirit. It cannot stand a true chosen one. You a true chosen one, baby. You a true, you a true divine one. Okay. Okay. You know who you are. You got a target on your back, baby. And this manipulative spirit is coming after you. It's coming after you. And it is seductive. It's subtle. You ain't going to see it. I'm telling you, the only way you're going to see it is if you walking with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit going to discern it to you because these people, they're going to come. They're going to come and watch the flattery. Oh my goodness, you better watch that flattery because they will flatter you all day long. Oh, you're just so wonderful. Oh, you're just so handsome. Oh, you're just so beautiful. Oh, I just love you so much. Oh, you're just so this. Oh, you're just so that. It's just flattery all day long. And you have to check yourself and be like, all right now, baby, I know I'm this and that, but I ain't that wonderful now. They ain't, why are they telling me this all day long every day? That's what the that's what that spirit of manipulation does. The spirit of manipulation, yeah, it flatters you. And see, this is why I say you got to know your identity. You got to know who you are because if you're not already affirming yourself, that's gonna sound like gold. 
That gonna sound like go. I, listen, I ain't telling y'all nothing I Google or I research. I'm telling you what I live. Do you understand me? I have been in a season of my life where I didn't know who I was. I, I didn't know nothing about affirming myself. I didn't know nothing about knowing my identity in Christ and who I was, that I was a queen, that I was a daughter of a king. I ain't know nothing about none of that. I mean, I had heard about it, but it wasn't in my heart. It wasn't in my subconscious mind. So I'm just out here. I'm just pray out here. And then here come a manipulative spirit. Like, like I said, it's men and women. It's in men and women. Here come a manipulative spirit. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. Oh, you just so beautiful. Oh, I just love you so much. Oh, you just so wonderful. Oh, you this, you that. You. And if you don't know who you is, baby. You will you gonna eat that stuff up. They coming with the gifts. They got a new gift every week. They got this, they got that. And you thinking, oh, they just, they just, I'm just, whoo, they got you thinking you miss it. You missed the it. But that ain't what it is. That ain't what it is. They got an agenda the whole time. This man, this spirit of manipulation, it comes with an agenda. From day one, from the first hey, from the first hello, it's got an agenda. You blind to it, but it know what it doing the whole time. And God said, his spirit, I'm telling y'all, it's a high ranking spirit. It's a spirit that has a lot of power. He said, every move that this spirit makes is calculated. It's calculated. Do you understand me? They done planned out this whole thing. They done planned out how they going to trip you up. They done planned out how they going to get you to fall in love with them. They done planned out how they going to get you to fall for them. They, they done planned out how they going to butter you up, how they going to get you to trust them, and how they going to get you to drop your guard, and then they going to strike. They done planned out every move. It's calculated. It's well thought out. It's planned from start to finish. Even they exit and how they gonna drop you like drop you like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, and how they gonna exit and go right on to the next. They done planned out everything. It's calculated. It's a high ranking spirit. It's a spirit that carries a lot of power. It's a chief spirit in the kingdom of hell. Do you understand me? And God said it seeks to destroy my true prophets, the true chosen ones. This manipulative spirit is after you. Do you understand me? I done, I done been hand to hand with it, baby. I done been face to face with it. I done been face to face with it. Do you understand me? I done been right there with it. Done been friends with it. Done been in the bed with it. Done been uh in, in partnerships with it. I done, I done been hand to hand, face to face with this spirit. And at the time, I did not know what was going on. I did not know. See, it, it blind, you blinded. It, see, I'm telling y'all, this spirit of manipulation, this Jezebel spirit, it, it takes over people that are like you, you blinded. You ain't woke up to what's going on spiritually. You ain't woke up to who you are. You just don't know. You just out here. But this spirit knows who you are. The Bible says that when Jesus came up in that thing, baby, when Jesus walked up on the scene, the demons immediately began to cry out. How did they do that? Because they knew who he was. They knew Satan ain't never blind to who you are. He knows who you are. Even if you don't know, he know. He knows. And so when I read that scripture, that let me know that it's some folks that were sitting out there where Jesus was, baby. And it didn't even hit them. It didn't even hit them. The demons knew before they knew that this was the son of God, that this was the Christ. They knew. So don't get it twisted. Satan knows who you are. He knows who you are and when and 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 he's looking for any signs. Listen, spirit of manipulation, Jezebel spirit is looking for any signs, any clues, any hints that you don't know who you are. This spirit be watching y'all before you even know it's watching you. Do you understand me? It's watching you. It is it's bite somewhere in the cut and it's watching you. And it's looking for body language is looking for mannerisms, is looking for your, your vocabulary by the way you speak, is looking, and if it sees a spirit of confidence, if it sees a spirit of awareness, a spirit of consciousness, if it sees that, it bike up, be like, oh no, that ain't the one, that ain't the one, she ain't the one, he ain't the one, I can't play with them, let me go on over here to somebody who don't know, who don't know who they is, who don't know what I'm coming for. Because, see, they, when they see you, they know, oh, you walking with God. God going to reveal that. God going to reveal that, baby. And I'm going to tell you, you can be a chosen one and not know it. 
You can be a divine one and not know it, be completely blind to it. But I'm telling you, you better wake up to it because the devil knows that you are. And he going to send these spirits. And so God said, these are the ones that I want y'all to be watching out for. The spirit of jealousy, the spirit of greed, and the spirit of manipulation, also known as the Jezebel spirit. And God said, it's a high ranking spirit. He said, this spirit will do anything to get what it wants. He said, this spirit is very intelligent. It's very smart. Like I said, every move that it makes is calculated. That woman that just came up to you, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, men. Come on, men of God. Where my kings at? That woman that just came up to you, you wonder what, how this good-looking woman came up out of nowhere, falling in my DMs, falling in my messages, came up to me while I'm pumping gas. She just done, whew. Just all up in my face. Then just put all put it all up in my face. You think that was a coincidence, baby? Come on now. Who am I talking to? You think that was a coincidence, baby? That was Satan. That was calculated. That was planned out. That was well thought out, baby. They've been watching you. These spirits been watching you. They see that you a good man. Come on now. They see that you do all you can for your family. You do all you can for your girlfriend. You do all you can for your wife. You a good father. You take care of your children. Uh-huh. This That spirit see all of that. And what that spirit going to come do, it going to come tell you everything that your girlfriend ain't telling you. Come on now. It going to come tell you everything that your wife ain't telling you. It's coming. It's intelligent. It's smart. It's got a lot of power, it's high ranking, it's seductive, and you better watch out for it. And I ain't just talking about Pookie and Lil Ray Ray now. I ain't just talking about them. I'm talking about even on the billionaire level. Oh, it's some high ranking spirits for you too. It's some manipulative spirits for you too. Whether you make $2 an hour or you a billionaire. This go from the bottom all the way to the top. Oh, Satan got somebody for everybody. You know, you have a personal adversary, baby. For every level you go on, he got another one. He ready to send out for you. Oh, you just got better. Oh, you just got some more money. Oh, you just improved your body. Oh, you just improved your looks. All right, send, send her this. Okay, send him this. Send him that. Oh, yeah, he, gonna like him for, he ain't going to fall for that no more. We got to send another kind of woman. We got to send this, this kind of woman, that kind of woman. We got to send it. Yeah, send him this. Send him that. Mm -hmm. Cause see every level you go up, you pass that test. You ain't on that test no more. You ain't on that level no more. Satan ain't gonna never send nothing you don't want. He ain't gonna send nothing that you turn your nose up at. He ain't gonna cause he know you better than that. He know what you on. He watches you. He ain't got no power to know oh what you thinking and what you got going on on the inside. He just watching you. So that's why you got to be careful what you giving off. You got to be careful what you showing off. You got to be careful what you posting about. You got to be careful with the indirect memes and all of this stuff because these spirits are watching for that. They looking for any type of weakness. They looking for any crack, any crevice where they can slide in. I'm finna wrap it up. This manipulative spirit, it seeks to destroy God's chosen ones. It seeks attention. It loves attention. Jezebel spirit, manipulative spirit of manipulation, it want all the attention on it. And really and truly, all three of these spirits go hand in hand. They go hand in hand because, because this last spirit, it's got the, it's got the uh, qualities of the first two. So all of them go hand in hand. Jealousy, greed, and manipulation. All of them go hand in hand. But I, just, I needed to break them down for y'all today. Break them down for you today. I'm telling you. God said it, this, this spirit of manipulation want all the attention on it. It can't stand when it sees somebody that got a gift. When you have a unique gift. Ooh, glory be to God. Y'all listen. Let me give me some water. When you have a unique gift. When your, y'all excuse me. When your gifting is unique. When it ain't like everybody else. You better watch out. You better watch out for this spirit of manipulation. Do you understand me? You better watch out for this, this Jezebel spirit. When you got a gift that you don't find every day and you have mastered it, you have worked it diligently, you have developed it, you better look out for this spirit of manipulation, baby, because it's going to be a whole nother type of spirit on a whole nother level that's going to come after you. And spirit of manipulation will come and, and be just like how Delilah did Samson, come and, and play in your hair. Mm-hmm.
that's that's symbolic of it's coming telling you everything you need it's giving you it's flattering you oh you're so wonderful you're so beautiful you're so fine you so this you so that oh my goodness it is it, and y'all watch out for that because that type of stuff ain't even real that ain't even real all that flattery that ain't even real that ain't real don't nobody just walk around i mean it's all right to give somebody a compliment but you don't get compliments all day every day like that like come on now and then from somebody that barely know you, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. But God said they're gonna be just like that. Playing in your hair. Playing in your hair. Telling you, telling you all about this and telling you all about that. And the whole time they just buttering you up. Just buttering you up for their agenda. And then God said, the spirit of manipulation comes to get your secrets. See, Delilah wanted to know what's your secret, Samson. How are you so strong? How are you so powerful? How how is it that you do what you do? I ain't never seen nobody do what you do. How is it that you work your gift like you work your gift? What's your secret? What you making? What they paying you? How much you make? Mm -hmm. They come to get your get your information. They come to get and they yeah they getting it for they gain they they getting it so they can take it back to Satan yeah this is what I find out about after she doing this he doing this he doing that and then next thing you know they done tripped you up why because they got your secrets they got your hacks they got they got uh huh they didn't got uh in on what you doing so God said y'all watch out for these spirits spirit of jealousy spirit of greed spirit of uh manipulation. Watch out. Watch out. This is real. This ain't no joke. This like like we say when we were little, this ain't for play play. <laughs> this ain't for play play right here, baby. This for real. This is for real. Watch out. Because what God is taking you, I'm telling you. Like they said, new level, new devils. But don't worry, baby, because for every every level God put you on, He's gonna be right there with you. And He ain't gonna let nothing get past you. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill. I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel too. Um, so if y'all ain't subscribed to me on YouTube, make sure you go subscribe on YouTube. Y'all go to LatoyaO'KillAcademy.com and get y'all a course today, baby. Get signed up for the Life Coach Certification. If you the type of person where, you know, people come to you for advice, they come to you to vent, they come to you to talk out their issues and their concerns and their worries and they feel better after they talk to you, then you a life coach and you owe that to yourself, baby, to take your gift seriously because that is a gift, okay? When you can listen to people and, and, and pour into people and motivate and inspire and encourage people, that's a gift. So you need to go and make that official and get certified. Go to Latoya O'Keele Academy today and take that life coach certification. Okay. I love y'all so much. Y'all watch out for these spirits because these, these folks ain't playing, baby. They ain't playing. They on the rampage and they after God's true chosen ones. They after, they after the divine ones. But I'm like Jesus, baby. The enemy desires to sift you as though you were wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith will fail you not, baby. You're going to make it. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right, okay? I love y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.